at the Zhuhai Air Show, um, China unveiled its cutting edge J 35A fighter. This is the latest in their stealth technology, stealth fighter, the latest fighter. <laughs> it's called the J 35. <laughs> A. A. Don't forget the A. Which just so happens to look like an F 35. <laughs> <laughs> Coincidence? Uh, I mean, dude. Apparently, uh, obviously, they stole the design. They could plans. have used a different number. They could have made a different name. Yeah, call it their forty-five. Yeah, they couldn't even. They couldn't even not copy the name. No. All no. right. And uh, you know the thing is, you could tell that the F thirty-five is a little chunkier. It is. You know why? Because it carries more fuel and weapons. Yeah, because it's better. You know what's great is that what? you don't copy something and then make it immediately better, which just makes me really happy. Yeah, that's true. You're a always co- trying to get ten always steps worse. behind, yeah. aren't you? <laughs> yeah. But I mean, come on, guys. I mean, think about the Soviets, right? Yeah. They had some MiGs that performed really well that were not copies, right? Yes. That was actually inventions, right? Yes. I mean, they yeah. took cut corners and made sacrifices. Yeah. But their copy planes sucked. Yes. Right. It's just like China. Mm-hmm. You gotta make your own stuff. Or you gotta yeah. have your own engineers, right? Yeah, it's just like if anyone ever tries to say, "Oh, they designed that all by themselves," they can go take a hike. You know, what? that is just a copy. You know what this should have been called? What is the CV? The Control V thirty five. Oh yes, that's right. <laughs> control, control C plus V. You know. Yeah. Uh, anyway, it, by this point, the CV thirty five. Yeah, yeah. By this point, I think nobody's surprised. Nah. But it's getting nah. to a point where they're just like whatever. But they let China get away with this. Well, I mean, they should be paying a copyright strike uh, fee. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's how this works. You copyright strike them <laughs> in YouTube terms. USA yeah. Pentagon. We're talking to you, Pentagon. If you guys are sitting in your offices right now, do a copyright, do a take copyright down. strike take DC, down of DMCA, their, yeah. of their G30 or J35A. J35A. It'll actually get rid of it. Yeah, then they won't be able to post it. No, when they post it, it'll just it'll be blank and you yeah, guys they get try the to fly piece. and then yeah. every time they take a like shoot someone down, you get to claim that yes. victory. Shout out to the Pentagon. <laughs> exactly. You guys are listening, take that down. Copyright Seriously strike. though, China, I, this is all we know. Stop being a, a blatant thief. Okay. Yes. All right. Make your own stuff. MCA planes. Yeah, it is. Uh, so I just wanted to cap this off, basically. Go ahead. Yeah. I wanted to cap this off with a bit of a meme. How <laughs> okay. I learned to stop worrying and realize the Chinese military sucks. <laughs> yeah. If you're going to be put, if your top top propagandist official, yeah, is putting out that mm. like a hundred fighter jets flying over copy and pasted, yeah, over a road, yes, and then you're copy and pasting your the F thirty five. You suck. Yep. We just saw we'd point this out. You know BYD that makes the the cars, yeah, you know the electric cars. cars. Yeah. Um, Chinese well, company. Yeah, Chinese company. Their headquarters is the knockoff Pentagon. It really, I put just, a compare out here. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's just got it's got one more angle. Dude. It's got one more angle than the Pentagon. It's got one more Kurt angle. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, it's just, just trying to outdo it. Can they come up with anything original? <laughs> you know, come original guys. This is a very important video. Yeah. We all know about China's gutter oil. We keep reminding you here. We always show you clips of the gutter oil, or the spit oil in this case, which is the chili oil that gets what is it? recycled from the trash. Well, tell, tell everyone what it is. Probably. Well, gutter oil is when they dig the, the oil that's in the sewers or grease traps under the, under the ground from the pipes, okay? Literally from the sewage pipes or the, the, the waste pipes. <laughs> and they mm. scoop it out. Mm. They go and then they like process it and then they sell it back to restaurants and street vendors and stuff at a low price. It ends up in things like uh, hot pot and uh, barbecue, sometimes barbecue massage. <laughs> that probably has gutter oil in it. Probably. Anyway, the thing is, spit oil is a bit different. Yeah. It's the chili oil that you get in hot pot. Now, hot pot is a fantastic dish. Anyone who's been to China has probably that, had, yeah. had it. It's a great meal. It's a fantastic experience. Mm-hmm. And it's usually split down the middle. You get a yuan yang hot pot. Mm-hmm. One side is just savory and mild. The other side is spicy. And they love to put this chili oil, okay? The red chili oil, and it floats to the top or whatever. So when it's done, because people have been literally gobbing in it the whole time, you know, because they eat with their chopsticks, and then they yeah. put their chopsticks in, and they've put their own food in there and stuff. And Sometimes you know, you're right whatever, you know, like blow your nose in it, anything. Yeah. <laughs> so it's used. And so they throw it in the trash. Yeah. But then some enterprising restaurants send their staff out to go and get it back out of the trash. Yes. Okay? Because it floats to the top, the chili oil, it's very easy to harvest it, right? Yes. You simply use a ladle, you can get it out. Now, we show this footage all the time and people are like, oh yeah, but maybe they're 
I don't know. They're not actually going to give it to other customers or something. Maybe it's no, ter- no one made that excuse. Of course they yeah. are. But okay, they're going to go play with it. Yeah, yeah. Here's definitive proof. Okay, finally we can show you. So here we can see the 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 staff from the restaurant. Okay, she's wearing the uniform, and she's ladling it up out of the trash. And there she goes, walks across the the road into her restaurant. Now here's the genius. Whoever filmed this was like, okay, enough of this. They wanted to go all the way. They're like, they go down. There's the trash can that she got it from. Okay. You can see there the cones. There's the restaurant she walked into. So this is the restaurant. You can see all the customers happily eating. Mm, yummy. This I love this chili flavored uh, soup that I'm eating. And there's the woman. There she oh. is. There's the woman that took the chili oil out of the trash right into the kitchen to give to other customers. Dang. And there she is serving caught, customers. Caught grease handed. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. You know? Red-handed. I mean, it's red chili oil, right? Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, look, again, when we show you the chili oil, gutter oil stuff, the spit oil stuff, it's not some weird conspiracy theory yeah. that you can disprove. Us. It's real. Oh, and it it's really is prolific. real. It's everywhere. And it's a big problem China faces because if there's money to be made, if you can take a shortcut and save some money, that's what's going to happen. Yeah. You know, and that's the deal, though. Like that's the that's what you have to understand if you're going to go there and visit there. You have to understand that's a, that's the thing. It's something we dealt with when we were in China. We understood that it was a reality. We just dealt with it. We lived with it. Also, take a look. This is not like a terrible restaurant either. No, this isn't some little it's, hole in the wall. No, this is you it's could nice. you could be walking. I'm just going to rewind just a little bit so that you can see the. Is that a nice area? The entrance to the restaurant. Yeah, it's a nice place. It's like a, it's got outdoor seating. Yeah. You know? that's and that's rare, right? This is a nice place. Yeah, look, it's, on, it's probably on a walking street here. You can see other restaurants. Tablecloths at a Chinese yeah, restaurant. Yeah, exactly. Like, Come on. So I mean, look, you walking into this place thinking this looks kind of nice. There's lots of people eating there. It looks like reasonable price. Look, I mean, look at the tables. It's like marble tables. Mm. Look yeah. at that. It's looking. Yeah. yeah, it might be a wallpaper marble, but whatever. It looks nice. It looks sure. clean. It looks legit. For sure. But you're eating chili oil out of the trash. Wide open roads of America, an experiment in humanity for Yi Fei Shu. Far from his Shanghai China home, he's been cycling across the U.S. for more than four months, enduring rain, rugged terrain, and uncertainty in a foreign land. What's been the hardest part, the hardest stretch so far? Wyoming. Wyoming, Wyoming. yep. Um, Nobody. All the road and nobody. He has all road and no people, huh? And no people. What has been the most beautiful thing you've seen so far? Oh, of course, Yellowstone, of course, <laughs> of course. Oh, Yellowstone, huh? Of course, yeah. Yeah. But he's not here for the sights. More philosopher than cycling tourist, and he set out to prove a universal truth. You believe in the good of humanity? Yeah, I want to show that human nature is good. And for him, the truest test comes down to how a country responds to a hungry stranger just passing through. So this is what you hold in front of people's houses when, when you approach them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Knock a door. Uh-huh. Uh, I say, hello, uh, I'm a cyclist I come from China. Can you help me offer me some food to eat? I'm so hungry. And it's that smile, too. That's the smile that, yeah, 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 yeah. that opens the door. I'm s- sunshine. Sunshine, yeah, yeah, sunshine. Your smile is like sunshine. I mean, yeah, I see how you can get around the world very easily with your smile. His biggest rule of the road is the most difficult. No money, only goodwill. You help me a lot. <laughs> and if you think there's no way he can make it across the U.S. without spending a cent... I can't use money. Thank you. Then you don't know the Americans he's finding day after day. Well, thank you. What? Along the back roads of the United States, America showing its true That's colors. Right. You can see if I can find you some more food. What are some of the things that you've learned about America? To be honest, before I came here, I had a different, and you could even say, slightly negative perception of America. But so many people here have offered to help me without expecting anything in return, and it's really touched me. A two-way street of kindness felt by those who have crossed his path. I feel like I got more out of it than he did. I, I gave him a meal. He gave me a huge lesson and just the generosity that he's experienced throughout this trip. I brought a bike. Is it okay if I ride with you for a little bit? Of course. All right. About we caught up with Yi Fei along his journey to try to understand what inspires him. Hi, Ming Wei. 
when Ernest I'm, Hemingway inspired some of this. Yeah. <laughs> when I'm young, I read uh, Old Man and the Sea. Old Man and the Sea. Oh, yeah. Hey, wait, that was one of your inspirations yes. for this. Yeah, and the spirit strong man. Hemingway is spirit strong man. <laughs> Me, I, I want to become spirit strong man. So I do this. Great guy. Yeah. <clears throat> Love that guy. I think it's really good. Mm. And, uh, you know, my own experience coming to America, absolutely the friendliest place mm. I've ever been. Um, and I'm glad that he gets to experience because you can hear that he had a negative um, idea. Perception, yeah. Perception. And you would if yeah. you grew up in China because the state media is always right telling now? you how terrible America is. Yeah. And it's an enemy of China and all that. So He's having a great trip. I also... I really... I, I love this guy. Hashtag sky don't lie. Yeah. You know what I mean? True. True that. Yeah. Nice True blue that. skies. Get to have a good time. Enjoy the hospitality. And, enjoy and I love this. This mm. is a great antidote for all the AVP people out there, including the Americans that just want to think America is a piece of shit all the time. It's yeah. a wonderful mm. place with wonderful people that yeah. will actually go out on a limb to help each other and yeah. help people that barely speak their language. It is. I'm not saying everyone's like that, but it, it's been like that in my oh, yeah, experience. The overwhelming majority. Yeah. And I got some, some stories I still haven't shared because I don't know how to share them properly. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, but... I will at some point uh, with my own experiences coming to America, but I can s vouch for this being 100% true. Yeah. And it's really cool. It's we really support good to his see trip. This. I hope he has a fantastic end of his trip. Yes. I hope he leaves with good memories and he tells people about what a fantastic time he had. And it reminds me of, of our time riding yeah. across China. We had similar we had experience in rural China. That real yeah. people that really yeah. went out of their way to, to make sure that we felt welcome. Absolutely. We, we, we love that he's having the same, same thing. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> I'm struggling to find a use for this. Yeah, that, that'll go. just actually kill you. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. You're right. People that are afraid of needles, yeah. this is the antidote. <laughs> Again. You shoot them. It's another piece. Oh. That locks you away. What is it? Oh, it's like a water dispenser. And there's a little generator, and then he it can charge his phone. phone. The chili's got to my throat. <laughs> that, that image yeah. with that subtitle the is The chili's very got to my good. throat. Yeah. Close my eyes, I can almost see it. Mm. When I take a breath, you fill up my lungs. Yeah. And if my mind.